Hi, and welcome to New Hampshire Politics and Policy, the show where we talk about all things political in the 603. I'm State Senator Cindy Rosenwald from Nashua, and you're watching us on Channel 96, Nashua Public Television. And I'm excited to have my friend, <laughs> Manny Espedia, with me today, um, current state representative from Ward 4, downtown Nashua, California native, but New Hampshire lover. Yes. And uh, I'm sorry that you're not running for re-election. Right. I, I know. I. Uh, it's one of those things that kind of I'm going to miss a lot. Mm -hmm. I love the house. I love You'll the be back. I think, you know, I definitely will be back. I th my my wife and I would love to, you know, grow our family. And uh, as much as I would love to have a baby and a Bjorn in the, the New Hampshire State House on the House floor, it, logistically, it's very difficult. <clears throat> so um, we're just, you know, I'll, I'll probably be back, but just going to focus on the personal stuff first. Well, you've been a great state rep for Ward 4, and I know you love Ward 4 when you were looking for a, mm -hmm. a house with Adriana. Mm -hmm. You were committed to living and staying in Ward 4. Yeah. What do you hear from your constituents there? What are they concerned with? Folks are, you know, concerned <coughs> about housing. Um, mm -hmm. That's always been a big issue, making sure that Folks can, you know, find a place to stay and also, you know, especially with the price of housing and um, and just in rent in general, it's it's difficult for folks um, to just try to keep keep up with uh, with the increases in those prices of those of both of those things. Um, and folks are, you know, we are a very working class district um, and most folks are just trying to find ways to put food on the table. So. Um, some of the things I always want to try to tell folks that I'm working on is a making sure folks um, can go to work and feel safe at work. Um, so worker safety, mm -hmm. along with um, making sure folks um, can we can raise the wage in New Hampshire. We are one of we are still at the federal standard, which is only seven twenty five, which is which is dismal in the year of twenty twenty two. So trying to make sure that we can work to to raise that wage. Um, you know, in a, in a common sense way. So, um, you know, I'm looking out for the interests of my folks because I think, you know, they deserve, um, they deserve respect just like everyone else does. And finally, public education. Mm -hmm. I think folks want know that at least uh, that, that, that education is that kind of gateway to a better life um, and, a, and, and, and to, for more opportunities. Um, so they want to make sure their schools are good, just like everybody else. Well, I think Nash was mm -hmm. lucky we have a huge school system, yeah. uh, but a good one yeah. that serves an incredibly diverse population mm -hmm. and has also a very diverse educational programming offering. Right, right. And, you know, I, I got to say that the people in my district just want to make sure, you know, I grew up with a family that um, that valued education. Both my parents were immigrants from Mexico. Neither of them finished high school. So for both their sons, they wanted us to finish, you know, not only finish high school, but go on and get secondary educations, go to college. Did you go to college? I did. <laughs> uh, I was the first one in my family to go and I, I graduated from Princeton University. Um, and it was, you know, one of the best experiences that I could have ever asked for. Um, but, you know, I think uh, for, for so many families, especially ones with immigrant backgrounds, they really just, they see education as that pathway for, uh, to move up um, into a middle class life, so. Well, that, that's great. Mm -hmm. Now, in your free time, yeah. you've been chairman, mm -hmm. chair of the New Hampshire Young Democrats. Right. As far as I can tell, New Hampshire Young Democrats are absolutely far and away the best <laughs> young Democrats in the country. Yeah, I right? mean, I, I mean, they're yeah. strong. And I'm, you're laughing, but I'm serious. We have the strongest, mm -hmm. uh, the strongest unit of young Democrats, the best run option. Op Operation. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, I'm proud of the work we've done. I've, you know, since 2016, our organization has just grown immensely, mm -hmm. um, in part thanks to some of the work that previous presidents have done to really grow the organization and really hire staff and, and, and take, you know, 
and recruit, train, and elect these young Dems that we currently have. We've recruited over, you know, a few hundred folks who are now you know, on select boards, on on board, board of aldermen, city councils, all the way up to state senate. So we're proud of the candidates that we, you know, that we've helped helped along the way. Um, and we're always looking to help uh, the next generation of folks who are interested in running for office. Also trying to shed light on really important issues in the state house, or not just the state house, sorry, but all, you know, all across the state. So uh, making sure folks are paying attention to what voting rights um, and making sure folks are paying attention to, you know, issues around reproductive justice issues. And we have count, like a good number of partners who are also working with us. But, you know, I think, you know, we do whatever we can to, to help the next generation because um, we, if we have to make sure we have a seat at the table and make sure that they're talking about the issues that most folks might not might not necessarily talk about. So. Well, so I know that mm -hmm one of your endorsed candidates is mm -hmm. currently serving in the state senate mm -hmm. um senator rebecca perkins cuoca mm -hmm. from the seacoast yep. but in the house there are a lot of young democrats right yeah so currently our caucus stands at about 28 members wow. um and which is which is uh, amazing considering i think it was only six or seven members in 2016 so mm -hmm. we've grown immensely um so and in Third in 20, 2018, we had about 34. Um, we lost a few folks to, you know, having, you know, relocate or um, things like that. But, you know, we have over 70 young Dems who are currently running this year wow. um, for <clears throat> state and county office, and over 60 of them are specifically running for the state house. And, um, and you've, you've had some that run for selectmen mm -hmm. and School, school board, board and yep. how how widespread is is that kind of municipal race effort um i mean it's one of those things where a lot of the time just folks want to know how to how to get involved like what the, are the simple things like knocking on doors like they're not running for for u.s senate like they don't have tv strategists or, yeah, or things they're like not that. running yet yeah so they're running you're just knocking on doors they're making phone calls they're raising a little bit of money but not too much and i think um and, and, you know, I think for us, we think that the future U.S. senators, governors are the and, and Congress people are the people who are running for these local positions now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, take Chris Pappas for uh, Congressman Chris Pappas, for example. He was a state representative, then county treasurer and has moved, you know, became executive counselor. And then now is our congressman. And he's a wonderful model for a lot of folks to look at and say, you know, he's. He's never forgotten about his community. He's never forgotten about his roots in Manchester. And it was, you know, when he's up in Congress, he, he takes that with him there. So um, folks in, you know, our young Dems are, we're, hope, we're basically trying to help them, um, you know, be great civil servants and then hopefully in the future run for higher office. Now you had a big fundraising mm -hmm. event last yeah. night out in Portsmouth, right? Yeah, we had uh, Congressman Ro Khanna come out to our 10th annual summer barbecue. It's my favorite event of the year. It's very casual. Because you like barbecue. I love, a, I love a good barbecue, but also it's, it's you know, a lot, both parties have these big extravagant dinners. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, like this, this barbecue is just very like casual, uh, but we have people from all over the state and it's good to, you know, sometimes for folks to get out of, you know, their bubble. Cause sometimes I feel like people are very regional, like, you know, people in Keene and the people up in Concord. And, and it's nice when we can all come down together and just kind of just catch up with old friends, which is why I love that event. It's always my favorite. something you can wear blue jeans too. You can always wear blue jeans, shorts and, uh, and, and baseball hat and just, very dressed down <laughs> mm -hmm. and so. a, a big fundraiser yeah we had over 130 people which wow. is which is wonderful um and the proceeds that we raise there are going directly to helping our candidates um and because it's so many candidates we have you know we want to make sure that we can help them um any which way we can and one other thing i'll say about our candidates is we have folks who are running here in Nashua, folks who are running out in Keene, and we have folks who are running all the way up north in Berlin, up in uh, Littleton, up in uh, Bethlehem. So, you know, there's no short, we are all over the state. We're not just in Nashua or Manchester. We are literally trying to recruit uh, young Dems everywhere. So. Well, and so when these young Democrats get elected to mm -hmm. the state house, mm -hmm. let's say, 
what, what kinds of policies are they focusing on? What's important to voters um, and families mm -hmm. in their 20s and 30s? I think, you know, you look at some of the legislation around child care access and mm -hmm. making sure that we're we're studying and we're figuring out ways to reduce the barriers for folks to actually be able to get child care because it's the, the price of child care is astronomical. Oh, it's, um, um, it's basically a second straight. mortgage for some people. Right. Um, and so that's one we have folks who are who are working on like i said issues around labor and um and 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 we have folks who are working on issues around you know uh transparency and accessibility so you know re for example my good friend matt wilhelm um he's worked on bills to try to make uh the state house just more accessible through zoom and remote mm -hmm. hearings and things like that so um which i think everyone should have access and be able to see what happens in their own government um so uh, those are some of the the big issues that i think what about yeah. climate and oh, energy 100%. i mean that's yes. like a I know, huge yeah. So we have two wonderful young women who I say who are in uh, science, the science and tech uh, uh, committee, um, Rebecca McWilliams and Re uh, Representative Jackie Chrétien from Manchester, uh, Rebecca McWilliams from Concord. They have both been hustling to try to get some really good legislation on how we transition into that clean energy future. And because our state, you know this, we're just incredibly behind in comparison to the rest of the region. Um, so they're, they're just trying to pass legislation that's gonna get us there, trying to make a plan and things like that. And we're unfortunately, given that we're not in the majority, they're just, it, 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 they're, a lot of the, our Republican colleagues are just are voting against it, so. Well, what about transportation? Well, Oh yeah. So is that important to oh, younger yeah. voters? About thirty percent of Nashua uh, folks commute mm -hmm. to the greater Boston area, um, and there are folks in Manchester who are just fighting, like uh, fighting hard to make sure that we can get rail uh, yeah. from, you know, from Manchester and Nashua all the way down to to connect us to Lowell, so we can be connected to Boston, um, and. You know, I know everyone talks about working from home, but there are still so many opportunities to try to connect folks to that Boston area. Um, and I'll just say, you know, when thinking about congestion and how we can reduce, you know, our, our dependence on fossil fuels, making it so that uh, we can use a cleaner version through through uh, rail is just it's going to help us out in the, in the long run. So it's really important to our. Mm -hmm business community yes. as well. Yeah, it is. Um, and and I won't forget, you know, our governor, you know, when he was putting when he put out a bid for Amazon to come to New Hampshire, he was banking on rail. So he said that we would have rail that would connect it. So I'm waiting to see his support for, for rail. Well, he did put yeah. that rail yeah. feasibility funding into his budget. Yeah. So um, um, so he's been if he on rail, it depends on what side of the bed he woke up on. But yeah, and I hope that his party, you know, gets behind it because I think it's, you know, us as a state, we have to figure out how we can retain our young people. We, I, I see friends who I've gotten to know here who end up leaving because they just say there's, you know, the there's less opportunities here. The housing is just going; it's way too high. Childcare is too, child hard, care, to so find, too, too hard to find. Too expensive. Yep. So there's, you know, there's a myriad of issues on why young people are leaving. Um, and we have to figure out ways that we can retain our youth uh, here in the Granite State. So. Well, you've worked so hard on it. You're such a leader <laughs> on it. Yeah. I mm -hmm. expect to see you with that baby Bjorn back at the state house. I'm, yeah. well, unfortunately, we're running out mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. I could talk to you forever. Yeah, I know. Um, and um, but I, we do sadly have to wrap mm -hmm. up. I wish you. The best. I know you'll be back in the yeah. state house. The young Dems will continue to amaze. Mm -hmm. You've been watching New Hampshire politics and policy on Channel 96, Nashua Public Television. I'm State Senator Cindy Rosenwald from Nashua, Senate District 13. That's wards 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. With me, has been Representative Manny Espedia, retiring from the House, but not from New Hampshire no politics at all. No. <laughs>
Thanks for being with us.